Hi, I'm Kieran from MeCAD Systems, and today in this MeCAD Minute, I'm going to show you some productivity tools you can use to streamline designing. From here, we're going to add in some shortcuts. So first, I'm going to right-click on this area, say Customize. We can go to Keyboards. I'm going to go into Search for my measuring tape, and we can go and assign T for it, or you can assign Shift T for example. After that, you can say OK. Then, by simply clicking T, you will now notice the measuring tape pops out. Next, we're going to look at adding in some mouse gestures. So you'll see when you create or when you do a standard SolidWorks installation, these are the standard mouse gestures. However, we can actually go and increase it to 12 gestures, 8 gestures, or you can even make it up to 2. I'm going to go and leave it on standard as 4. Now, what I also just want to show you is that these are entirely um, customizable so what you can do is go through this list or again you can filter and search through them and you can add in some features so what i'd like to do is let's add in an update views one for example to my drawings all right so now by simply just holding in my mouse you'll see if i hold it in and i right click and slowly move my mouse down it will update the drawing views when I'm in my drawings. Just note that you'll see there are four mouse gestures. If I am in a drawing, it is different from when I'm being in a part on assembly, so I can completely update or customize these to my usage. And then finally, we are going to look at um, our shortcut menus. So we call these the S key menus. By simply tapping the S key during the design process, then this little menu pops up here. Again, this thing is entirely customizable. So from here, what we can always go and do is there's, let's say, a spline. So spline's already there. Let's go add in another trim entities. So you see, you can add in features, remove them by simply dragging and dropping them out. Again, this is the same. It's got unique customizability for what uh, feature you're using in or what you're using in context you're using in rather. So drawings, it's got its own. Sketches, it's got its own parts the same reason drawings it's got its own stuff okay so let's actually look at what that looks like in design so first i'm going to create my drawing from there i'm going to type in my type in s push the s key from there i'll just put a circle then by simply holding my right click in moving my mouse up you'll see there's my smart dimension and from here i can then slowly just go and add in geometry all right then finally, we are going to look at um, something I call breadcrumbs. So breadcrumbs will come incredibly useful when you, for example, here, click on this body. As you can see here, it's in the top left. You'll now see it shows you that it is in with the flashlight assembly. It is in the head component. It is a solid body on its own, and then it shows you the feature. So you can actually go and manipulate your mates from here or you can manipulate your features okay so how do I turn on breadcrumbs so simply just go into your system options I like to do the search bar where I say type in breadcrumbs you'll see there it goes display and you'll see over here show breadcrumbs on selection we again to keep our designing faster we're gonna make it show breadcrumbs at mouse pointer so again select it there's my breadcrumbs okay I have now, for example, just want to make it change to this component. I'm not happy with this, and now I want to exit. So what do I normally do? You move your mouse all the way there, and you actually click exit. By selecting D on your computer or your keyboard, you can actually exit this feature. So that's called the D key. What does that do? It just allows you to uh, accept you know, your changes, you know, not accept, exit a sketch, exit editing, stuff like that. Um, faster again SOLIDWORKS is changing everything so that you can keep designing at the tip of your mouse Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more